Now I understand. Now I remember everything. I left Bukadoon in search of you. So that I could destroy you. <laughs> but it was I who defeated you and wrapped you in my sweet, sweet embrace. And I had you all to myself for a century or two. In our own private wee world of darkness. You're all mine. And then I forget it. You're my. Fuck, 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 fuck this, this weird, weird scotch bullshit. bullshit. I went on a little trip. I'm trying to get you. I got buy blocked, and that was just better. We got a quitter, boys. <laughs> so I was like, you're gonna be fine. Come on. Dies. You know, you know what, Vulcan? Here. Come here. Yes. You need this more than me. Did you, did you just hit me with a frying pan? <laughs> Wait. I have a Gatomon at home, but I also have an Angelomon in my party, which is what Gatomon turns into. Does this mean I have a MILF in my party? Oh, I just remembered. All the Digimon have certain personality traits. Now canonically in my head, I now have a wild MILF in my party. Feels good, man. You have problems. Oh no, I'm you fully aware. somehow find yourself a MILF. No, I'm fully aware that I have cri a crippling mommy complex. I'm coming to terms with that. Anyways, back to this terrorist attack. <laughs> Vulcan, I lost my wild milf. They turn into a small, graceful dog. <sighs> Alright, Vulcan, who do we put the bunny suit on right now? Do we put on the tomboy or do we put on the desert beauty? Ask me that again. It's not the first option. I will throw you off a cliff. I will drive to Scotland! And I will throw you off whatever overpass is closest. Oh, I just thought it was up real bad. Oh, no! It, was, it wasn't how it was, it? No, it wasn't. It was, a uh, was it Lifestyle? No, no, it wasn't. Fuck, what was it? Is it miscellaneous? No. No, I lost it. What was it? People. <laughs> I'm such a child. I want tight mother. I want tight mother. <laughs> Fantastic! Your profile, it's wonderful. It really says what you're about. You got me! Yeah, motherfucker! Do it! Do it! Yes! Yes! Sap him one more time. Oh, this poor son of a bitch. And after this, I'll have Matthias and Salado. on his ass. 
Oh my god. Here, you wanna give a lesson? Yeah, sure. My mouse is on the screen. Here we go. It's pretty awful, isn't it? I mean, I listen to black metal, an entire genre built on the foundation of how shitty can I make my microphone. Some people are cracking jokes about, about some kind of monster composing it. Hi chat. I, I'd like to start out by saying Dream Eater 2, I'm sorry I missed your follow message. I feel really bad about that. Oh my god. But anyways. There we are. Oh wait, I gotta... I completely forgot to do the thing with Discord. Okay, Vulcan, say something real fast. Ah, uh, welcome to hell. There we go. I'm very paranoid now about making sure the Discord part works. Because I can't tell you how many streams I've done where you've been just mute on my end. Or for the streams. That's end. not very surprising. <laughs> okay. Here's how many volume mixers I have. Or how many things I have in my audio mixer. I have the desktop audio, which I never use, and that's the default. I've got Discord. I've got my mic. I've got what I use to play music and the little highlight reel. I've got sound alerts. I've got one for my Switch I haven't used yet. And then I have one <laughs> for my video game or whatever I'm streaming. I've got a lot of working parts. That's one way to put it. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? It's a lot better than some of the some of the like smaller streams i've seen where they just kind of start the stream on the game i don't like that there's gotta be at least some kind of presentation you know gotta show that you're putting in effort it's also eh, like agree to disagree well it's also why i like gab a lot and what was, what was it but it's why I always try to, like, make noise and why I read everything out loud. Because I hate it when the streamer is just quiet all the time. You know? Like, you get in the stream and you can tell just kind of, like, sitting back in their chair not saying anything. Yo, just like me. <laughs> yeah, just like me when I'm not playing video games. But I gotta be entertaining about it. <laughs> Well, you don't have to be entertaining. I'm the entertainment. Oh, I gotta be the entertainment because... At, at my own expense. Or at least I gotta be the entertainment or the guy that knows the, the, about the shit he's playing. You know? Something. Oh god, there's, there's a quote I heard earlier. It's like, my only redeeming quality is my mouth or something. That was, mm. that was a quote. Or like their throat, I think it was. <laughs> Dude, I wish you could know the context behind the one that I got from Frog earlier. <laughs> <laughs> the child support? Yeah, we were talking about uh, sharing a Spotify account. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so oh. for those, this isn't in the out of context quotes I have on the Discord in the link in the description. It's in another one because I... I've, I've had many quotes over the years, and they're all pretty good, but if child support is only eight bucks a month, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> this one's not really out of context, but I think this one's just kind of funny. That man's creative bone is so big, I'm going to need to put the all the way through tag. 
What was I even talking about? When I... Oh, oh, I think it was, um... I think it was... I was talking about Lost Odyssey or something. And it was either the musical composer relating to, um... How the Departed, which is probably the greatest JRPG boss music ever conceived. Or it was by the guy that made the Final Fantasy games, like directed them, and then founded Mistwalker. To this day, it still fucking bothers me about Mistwalker, dude. They're making fucking mobile games. Like, yeah, yeah. they're. They're nice because they're like that old like JRPG classic style. But they're fucking mobile games. See, what I find funny is there's a company called Deep Silver. I don't know what they did like outside of the mobile games, but that's all I knew them from. Oh, Deep they Silver, dude. Really... They, did, they did all sorts of shit. Yeah, I but like it. early 2000s, they had like some really shitty mobile games, and that's what I remember them from. I mean, let me let me pull up their discography because I know they made a sacred game, but I don't know if it was the good ones or it's the third one that's just basically like a gauntlet ripoff. It was the third one, I believe, because I remember booting it up on my computer. I put I put almost forty hours in that game, by the way. The third one. Okay. Um. Well, they did the shitty Saints Row game. They That's not really surprising. They did Dead Island. Payday 3. Chivalry. Wow. There's this one that just says Metro. Yeah, those are the Metro games. Oh, yep, yeah, there it is. Metro Exodus. Well, th there might just be a publisher. Okay, let's pull up the wiki. Controversy. In January 2013, Dilps, Deep Silver announced a special edition of their then-upcoming Dead Island Riptide title, Zombie Bay Edition, which includes a statue of a mutilated female torso in Europe and Australia. After strong criticism over the item, Deep Silver initially offered an apology, stating that they were deeply sorry, in quotations, promising customers that that would not happen again. However, when the game was released in April of that year, the bus was still included, generating further backlash. Well, yeah, because oh, then they probably, would, they probably would have gotten sued for not putting the thing they advertise in their special edition. And I think it's more of like, it's a naked, dead female torso. Oh no, titties. It's almost like the entire world is now desensitized to them. Yeah. And now every woman is like actually fat and very upsetting. <laughs> Chat, this is coming from someone who was once 300 pounds, so I have the, every right to call fat people fat and ugly. It's got the I fat earned pass. that right because I clawed myself back. Let's see what else they got here. Zoo Wildlife Zoo. The Guild. Gothic 3. Warhammer Mark of Chaos. Dawn of Magic. More Ooh, do you want to know something kind of sad? Sure. At midnight, I have a little, like, mini cheesecake with a candle I'm gonna light. Mm -hmm. It's really sad, but you know what? It's better than what I got today. And it was free. Do you ever have an Anthony Thomas chocolate rabbit? Uh, I think I... I might actually have one from my little Easter basket, basket thing. I ate it with my bare... I had one and I ate it with my bare hands. They're <laughs> like an animal. And I can't get like the... The like texture and, and scent of chocolate off my hands now. Oh, Anyways, no. Frog, is it time? Animals, Oh, I can log in. <laughs> I gotta update. I gotta, I gotta play. Let's go. Oh, yep, yeah, nope. Deep Silver did Sacred 2. Ah, oh, damn. Risen, Risen, why does that sound familiar? 
Oh, one. right, that one. Yo, Deep Silver made DJ Star for the DS. Stalker Cov Prepyat. Whatever that word is. Yeah, it's Prepyat, you're right. Lost Horizon. Duke Nukem Critical Mass. Oh, yep, there's Dead Island. What else have they done? Oh, they did Saints Row 4. Man, the people that made that game, they've gone through bankruptcy so many times, dude. <laughs> it's like every time they try to make one, the company closes. If Meth Heads had a company. Yeah. And yet, somehow, the, they're still a company. Just how Meth Heads are still somehow alive. Yeah. <laughs> Deadlight. They published Mighty Number no. Nine. That's a that's a mighty oof right there. That was supposed to be like the Mega Man successor, and it was fucking ass. It it was no um. Bloodstained, unfortunately. Metro Exodus. Pathfinder Kingmaker? Bernard oh wait, yeah. maybe this was just Bernard's lot, because I don't think I saw a Kingmaker on there. They worked on Baldur's Gate 3 too. Oh, okay, so they're just in fucking everything. They're like ten cent. Yeah, they're like a software company now. Okay. Yeah, they're just publishers. They're like EA now more than anything. Which I guess technically EA Electronic Arts was you know, they actually made games at one point. Once upon a time. And all their games were, like, too ambitious for the software at the time. A lot of them were sports games, funny enough. I'm talking, like, their other games, like Spore and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, they did Chivalry. Chivalry was kind of cool. Oh, see what I... <sighs> Actually... I'm gonna shut my mouth on that one. Hey, it didn't crash my game. Or my computer. Wait, is this the... Wow, that's crazy. We traded. Oh, <laughs> they were gonna make a time splitters game, dude. I need to find an arcade around me. There are no arcades. I remember one time we went to... Oh, no, wait. There's a Dave & Buster's around here. I went to Dave & Buster's one time in my first try. I got the high score in a sniping game. That kind of makes sense. Oh yeah, they also published... It was this. Distributed titles. Persona 5. What else is there? Trackmania. There's um, a there's scary a amount of women on campus that play Persona. Have you seen Persona 5, dude? It makes me scared. I mean, most people play it because of the dating sim aspects. Yes. And, okay, here's how crazy it gets. In Japan, they sell Joker-scented soap. What the fuck does this anime boy smell like? I don't know, but the soap is black and red, and it's got, like, little swirly, like... Hypnos patterns. Uh, I ran into that, uh... That soap at fucking Comic Con mm -hmm. this past September. You guys ready for a hawk hawk hot take? Oh God. I can't fucking stand Persona Five. Now, I mean, I respect understandable that one of the romance options is your teacher, and Futaba is absolutely adorable. However, there is too much fucking shit in that game. Like, you're getting tutorials 20 hours in the game. It's like 150 hours of, like, schedule management. And then they add the Royale Edition, which adds even more pointless shit, like grapple hooking around like Batman. Hawk, Hawk, Hawk. Have you played or watched me play XCOM 2? 
It's the same it's... issue. There's too much bullshit and too much planning. Yeah, it's like Dragon Age Inquisition, right? Like, Hawk is literally in my username. So, I'm a big fan of Dragon Age. But holy fuck, I could not finish Dragon Age Inquisition for the life of me. Because it's just too fucking long. It's just too empty. I I honestly think Ugh. I got up to where I could kick Sarah out of my party, and then I stopped. Damn. I can't stand Sarah. This bitch has to act like she's... She thinks she's got the moral high ground when she just picks on whoever she wants. It's like the epitome of, like, the concept that poor people can be incredibly greedy... Just because someone has more money than them. That's basically Sarah. All rich people are assholes. Get the fuck out of my party. You have actively sabotaged my efforts to clear, to close the fucking hole in the sky that's pouring out demons. Get the fuck out. You're not funny. <laughs> Holy shit. Funny enough, as much as I hate Sarah, I thought I wasn't gonna like Cassandra. But, you know, when you play as an actual, like, religious guy, and, like, a paladin, Cassandra's actually pretty cool. She likes it when I think I'm basically the coming of Jesus. I'm trying to think if there's, like, anyone else I didn't like in that game. Varric, I feel, is overrated. He's a, he's a cool dude. He's a bro. But I think people overestimate how cool he is. Um, I liked Bull. Bull was nice because he was just straight up just a merc. And he understood, like, the merc viewpoint. Uh, Josephine was okay. She, she was cute. I liked her. I didn't like what she dealt with. Which is... The fucking Orlesians. Not the Orlesians. I fucking hate the Orlesians, dude. If I could, I would have burnt that entire city to the ground and pissed on the ashes. Hey, that's genocide. Calm down there, bucko. Oh, I'm sorry. Like, they're gonna contribute anything. I'm trying to close the hole in the sky that's pissing out demons. And, you know, I have to go tell that this guy that his shoes are atrocious. Otherwise, they're not gonna help me. They're the most petty fucking people. Oh, what's that? There's a three-way power struggle for the throne of or Orlay? Don't worry, I'll just pull out my greatsword and pull Coney on the Barbarian. Problem solved. Ugh, I hate them so much. Hey, yo, we're on Eastern servers this time. Fuck yeah. Hawk, you, no. yeah, you should download Valorant. No. Like now. I'm not download playing it. it. And I can't, it. I can't download it. Because I'm streaming. Lies. <laughs> yeah. It will be a slideshow. <laughs> and I, at some point, I want to punch Satan in the mouth. Uh, you know. Listen to the two voices in your head. Oh, I've got more than two voices in my head, buddy. Well, now you have like 50, so... And I'm at least three 52. of them. <laughs> 53, my bad. Something, something, Randy Orton. I hear voices in my head. They tell me they understand. I move when I don't need to. Ah! Oh, you, you know what game I just remembered of the companions I really hated? Um, Pathfinder Kingmaker. Okay, I think... Let me think here. Oh, okay, there were only two I didn't like. But I really did not fucking like them. I hated Valerie. Because her entire thing was written like a fucking Tumblr OC. Like, oh my god, I'm too beautiful. Oh my god. Just poor fucking me. And then she goes through this whole thing and doesn't learn a fucking lesson. 
Actually, it was just the religious characters now I think about it. Because I also fucking hated that little Doomer dwarf. He actively... Like, you read like two seconds on the wiki of Torag and he tells... And it straight up tells you, Torag doesn't generally intervene in the life of his followers. Because he wants them to do things for themselves. And then that little shithead is like, Oh, everything's fucking pointless. Fuck Torg, he never helped me. What's that? An actual artifact? I'm gonna beat it with my fist until it breaks. You know, that incredibly important religious artifact. No, wait, no. There's two more I didn't like. I didn't like Felicia Day and her half-orc fuck buddy. You know, the two that constantly try to have sex with you. Together. All my YouTube music is now gone and I'm very upset. <laughs> I'm actually fucking livid. I think everyone else, though, was cool. I liked Akundayo. He really wasn't anything spectacular, and I think that's what made him good. He was just I a guy. I apologize, but I will have to go non-verbal and lock in, as the Zoomers say. <laughs> right on. I'm lock in, brother. Lindsay was... Lindsay was fantastic. I wish I could have romanced Lindsay. Uh, who else was there? There was the undead elf chick. She had a really great what? ass in that in that profile picture. But you know, she was neutral evil. <laughs> Let's see. Uh there was the twins. That was the second three way relationship in the game you could have chosen. I think I would have just liked the water bending one rather than being forced to basically have a relationship with both twins. I still- I never finished Pathfinder Kingmaker. Despite how much time I put in it, because I would always just make a new character and then finish Act 1. Mostly because I didn't like the settlement building. That seems to be where most people stop. I think one time I tried Steam Wrath of the Righteous, which is the sequel. The characters now were a lot better, though. Well, anyways. Oh, that's not the right one. As much as I would like to have Jade just keep kicking me, we got some stuff we gotta do. So, I did not do any grinding like I said I would, because I realized, I looked it up, and the monster I need to kill to get the Sage class hasn't shown up in-game yet. So, we're gonna keep going. Gonna shove my spear so far up this guy's ass. He's gonna be tasting steel for the next week. Oh, what are you? What do you some, mean? Some claws. I need to change Donna's pants because now that someone said that she looks like Dora the Explorer, I can't not see it and I hate it. He's probably dead if I have Mercurial Thrust. And I miss. Okay, at least he's gonna hit me. I'm, I'm cool with that. Rena always getting the kill. Ooh, level 42. Uh-oh. I'm at the point yeah. where I'm... I'm at the point where I'm leveling up, where I'm getting less skill points. 
What do you mean? I thought that guy didn't die. Can I open this? Unlocks the door. There's nothing in here. <laughs> Wait, there's a dude in there. Becky Bells. May not look it. Well, I was once a soldier for the Empire, you know. Well, that I am. I disobeyed a direct order and ended up here. I was all fired up to fight and even die for a good old Mother Empire. But I, I draw the line at challenging the power of monsters in order to make oneself more powerful. That really is the, the bally limit. Blue damage really isn't that scary. It doesn't do a lot. I'm not allowed. I can't believe we lost that. The fact we were getting spawn camped makes me want to scream. I don't really care for that map. I hate how that I mean, statue is. The fact I went out. from 3 and 8 to 11 and 17, I'll take that. Fair enough. Um. Yeah. Wait, what's. What is that there? Oh, you're a new enemy. Mandrake Marshalls. Hawk is live. Yeah. <coughs> you give him some. Oh, damn it. I wish I had a single target I ice spell. Spin. I'll give, give him some frizzle. Pretty effective. Honestly, jet kind of bad, not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> Are we talking good, bad, or bad, bad? Uh, the kind that would give me a lot of mommy problems. Good Join bad. me, brother. No, not your kind of mommy problems. <laughs> mommy with an I. I'm confused here. As for the best. <laughs> Hold on, what's the name? Jet? Mm -hmm. Yeah. With two teeth. <coughs> of course, two T's. Like Joan Jet. Anyway, back to nonverbal. Keep it verbal. We need to call out. So, so surprising. But my autism works better him. otherwise. I don't care. Ugh. Yeah, you gotta weaponize the autism. Mm -hmm. Works for, um... No, I don't know, I want pizza. Not the pizza. Oh, well. Decided for my midnight cheesecake. 300 years ago, King Godwin carried out a series of experiments using the power of Celestrian he had taken capture. Captive. He used the power to turn loyal soldiers into merciless butchers, and even bring the dreaded Barbarus under his influence. Oh. You're fucking shitting me! This damn boss troll is just camping my body, waiting for me to stop talking. Sundercurrent Prison is the very place where those evil experiments were carried out. Oh, we're fighting him. What's Body Slam do? That sounds fun. I haven't used that yet. Oh my god, the damage. Whoa! Oh my god! That didn't do any damage, but it's nearly killed me. Let's go, second round alt. Love to see it. Drill's a weak to fire, right?
I don't understand <laughs> body slam. Don't you do it, motherfucker. Oh my god, it's a minefield. White king. They're all right there. Seems like what? Right? 104 on Phoenix. I really need to start using my spells as a mage. I'm always so worried I'm gonna run out of mana, but I'm pretty sure I'm good with 245 mana. And the ability to regenerate it in multiple ways. the body. Material thrust. There we go. Don't let the mage cast. Maybe with power or something like that. What's down here? Hope this isn't the right way. Let's go back up just in case. Oh, it was the right way. How? Oh, oh, what? What is this room? Why are there coffins? I can't read them. Shame. God damn it! Get sandwiched here. A fucking foot fetishist. One twenty rays. Sage comes soon. Matthias needs a weapon he's specced into. How do I? Ah, uh, man. Secret room like Metroid. Dude, I might need another like good warm up round. Yeah, me too. Pair of battlers bracers. Can't say the last one was very great. Yeah. Or you can use this. Literally everyone but mage. Certainly. I'll take him. Boy, I should have known better than that. They all went alpha. A little bit of a defense boost. <laughs> Oh, yeah, right in the mic, baby. They're planning. What the fuck? He's building tension. So we're going to make him laugh. And learn this strategy. What the fuck is this little bitch? How is he wiping everyone? I mean, I've told you my dad's golf story, right? Uh, I don't think you have. Oh, I'm not taking Spike. How do I drop it? Press so, four and um, press H. My dad loves playing golf games. H. And oh, he G. was going up against someone. And every single shot the person had was a hole in one. And it turns out they're just super fucking sweaty about it. And just did it over and over again. And just through sheer amount of practice, every single thing they had was a hole in one. Well, I'm just watching this guy fucking eat round after round. And then immediately just... I don't even know. I don't even know how to say it in a nice way that won't get your stream banned. It's a while and then you them a second time. Ultimate Alchemy. Gate of Evolution. Points the way to the very pinnacle of your craft. Sage's stone, gold bar, a gate of evolution. What's the recipe from Malasite? God damn it. Try to avoid him.
You know, I was kind of hoping when I leveled up and got stronger, wands would steal more MP, but they really haven't. Oh, you're fucking kidding me, though. I mean, it's better than nothing, but still. <sighs> yes, resurrect. Oh, a nice crystal. Oh my god, there's more Celestrians in here. Hawk, is it truly you? Can it really be? Yeah, be careful, there's still monsters around here. God damn it. A singular cause. The payback pumps do nothing, dude. Oh boy, counterattack for two damage. I hate, hate flashbangs. The quill of this. No more. Hmm. Is at least fitting punishment for such treachery. Say he was no traitor? That he feigned collusion with the Empire in order to save us all? Yeah, no, he wasn't evil. He was just incredibly, incredibly fucking stupid. Makes me wonder why these ones are in the palace to begin with. Maybe like Super Celestrians. You saved me, Hawk. I who th thought you the last one likely to come to my aid. When we heard that the Empire had taken out the Celestrians prior to our capture, we certain they spoke of you. What? What? Fucking dick? Ah, uh, you're just such a bitch, you know, we thought they took you first. Frog, would you like to move to another VC so we don't interrupt Hawk? Because I, I feel really bad if I'm just going to scream and rage and interrupt the stream. We can do that. Alright. Well done, Hawk. But there's another who awaits his release yet. Deep in the bowels of this place. You will take care of ourselves. Go to him. See him set free at long last. Alright, you mother... Alright, come on. Fight me. You gonna block the doorway? I'll, I'll tangle with you. You wanna do the little samba slam? Little tango takedown? A little war waltz. How about a pirouette of pain? I can do that too. Honestly, Mercurial Thrust. I know it does a little bit less damage. At the cost of going first, but... It's probably the spirit blade I use the most. It's because it's just so much tactical use out of it. Ooh, sacred claws. I'm not scared of this poison. Ooh. A red dragon turtle. A... Word horse. I don't know how to say that one. <laughs> Not crack. crack. Uh, give him some crackle. I mean, they're red, so they're probably weak to ice damage, right?
What's poison down here? There's gotta be something in this corner, right? Nope. Oh, there's some... Who are these guys? Bad Karmers. Why do they have any mana? We'll never know. I feel like I rarely use... Was it Ozone? Or is it Zero Zone? Whatever the, uh... The Coup de Grasse for the Mage is, because I usually am very good at conserving my mana. It's like, I... I don't cast any MP for a few turns? Okay. It's not, it's not bad, but I don't know. It's not like the whole Amazing Night Watch is, where it just taunts everybody guaranteed and makes the Paladin invulnerable. Oh, you're new. Ag Agro Sculpture? <laughs> okay, that one's pretty good. One MP, dude. Of course, he crits with his AoE spell. He dead though. All right, let's let's move over here before we heal because I feel like someone's just gonna drop right on top of my head. Dun, 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 dun. So is it that if you get them in the back, you're more likely to sneak attack? I guess I'm just more used to some games where it's like guaranteed if you get them in the back. That wasn't so bad. Ooh. Jimmy's dead. That's the problem with, like, the status effect weapons. Like, it, on paper, they're good, but I generally, like, focus fire, so... The target's usually dead. Unless it's, like, the sleepy stick there. I do kind of feel like maybe we should have put, put like, wand into Matthias. Or not wand. Uh, staff. Snare passages! Just because he... He doesn't really have any offense, and he's just kind of here being a heal bot. Which, granted, is important. But he really doesn't have, like, any weapon moves. And he's like, Donna has, like, Caduceus, or... Other wand moves. We just really need to get him... His... Make him a sage and have him pick up his bow. I miscalculated how far into the game you had to get to to unlock sage. Because once we get through the main story stuff, and maybe we'll do like a stream of some other stuff post game but we're not gonna do a lot of post game stuff unless i learn that there's like some crazy stuff so we're probably never seeing luminary which i was gonna do anyways because i hate jack of all trades classes except maybe the armamentalist they kind of take what i like about the mage class and then just give him some like physicality you know me, I love my physical classes. 232. Yes, I'm just gonna assume that's a broken bridge, so no, don't even bother. Especially since there's one over here. Yep. 
deep. Oubliette. This king crab really isn't very... kingly. You know? God, Frizzle's so good. I just wish I didn't have to basically be at the end of the game to use it. Oh, you're lucky. Not, not very lucky, though. Oh my god, I just realized we're on floor 5. This place is really deep, and it's concerning what's down here. If it took this many levels just to keep it secret. Oh, no, poison. It's doing like one damage. I did not touch him. I could test that shit. Wow, I do a lot less damage. I'll tell you one good ability I'm excited for when Matthias turns into Sage. Right as rain. Group regen. I'm gonna pop that bad boy at the start of every fight, man. Get that preemptive heal going on, because you know the boss is gonna do some AoE bullshit at this point. It was like the super high tier ones are this, they AoE everything. Yeah, that's not so bad. That's not so bad when he doesn't crit. Ooh. There's the gladiator's guide for you. Just a casual... What? Yeah, 300 damage. With how many things that are blocked off... It makes me wonder if they're going to reuse this dungeon at some point, and then just remove the rocks. Or they're just like really going for like realism. It's like this poison isn't scary, so I don't mind walking through it. In fact, it's, the poison has actively helped me more than hurt me throughout the game. Because that's how I ended up getting the... Um, the level 40 paladin quest, and the gladiator quest. And the uh, level 40 priest quest. As I just ran around in poison until I got down to like 1 HP. There's a little poison on the ground in the battle back. That's cool. Oh. Wow, the one time that's like kind of useful, but not really. It, the damage is so low, it doesn't even hurt. Donna. Now, wait, no, it still did like one damage, I think. I just don't think he was using it that round. Which, I hate that move so much. It does... It needs to do percentage of the damage. No, because... Pincushion isn't good. Because it's the reduce... Because when you're a tank, you try to reduce damage as much as possible. So the less damage you take, the less pincushion does. So it actively is a detriment to your character. Uh, hi. I'm here to save you. Do you have a moment to talk by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Uh... Is this another one of the Celestrians we, they've been keeping under lock and chain? Oh, uh, how you doing, buddy? Crime. Their very existence is an insult. An abomination. A crime. 
Captain's arms and legs are bound by thick chains. Release him. Uh, after what he said, no. They're gonna make me, huh? Good old illusion choice. He literally has devil horns. Intruders. And Godwin is defeated. Hmm. I am alone once more. And after going to such great pains to revive his restless soul and give it new purpose. Such selfishness. But such is the nature of mortals. Selfish beings one and all. Their very existence is an insult, an abomination, a crime. Celestria, who fought to protect them. Xenos, who stayed their obliv obliteration. Both are guilty also. And who shall punish these sinners? But there is no other who is equal to the task. Then it falls to me. I, Corvus, who was once called Celestrian. And you, wingless one, what say you? Is there merit in mortal kind? Is it worthy of salvation? Uh, my, my party members are pretty cool. Thus you prove yourself yet another enemy. Gods, mortals, Celestrians. All are ranged against me, and all shall be destroyed. I don't know if we can hit him, because technically he's our superior. He's Aquila's teacher, remember the gravestone? Yep, yeah, it's just me. I can't... Hmm. The law of the Celestians forbades you to take arms against me. Pathetic. Button slap! Oh, damn it. I think I had more HP than that, actually. None can know the hatred I have fostered these past 300 years. None can imagine the pain of my captivity. And yet, it is that very pain and hatred that has given me power. I am become stronger e- I am become stronger even than the Almighty. You witnessed the barrage of beautiful, baleful light I sent forth. I destroyed him. I destroyed Xenos himself. And thus, I have become Almighty. The time to ascend to my throne is nigh. God, you're so edgy. Um. Come, Barbarous. Heed my call. <sighs> we shall make a fitting home of the realm of the Almighty before the work of obliterating the mortal sinners begins. Ow. Why does everyone I fight and lose to cheat? Oh, wait, Hawk, are you alright? Yeah, I just need you to, like, massage my back and, like, put my spine back in place. Never mind, I'm good. You might write Pig's Eye of that, didn't you? So that Corvus bloke was just behind the whole Giddish Empire thing, was he? But he's a Celestrian, right? How come he looks so rough? Oh, hang on. Someone's coming. Corvus. Oh. I'm so certain I had found him at last. Oh, 
What? That was who you were going up dale and downhill looking for this whole time? Well, sorry, but you just missed him. He was here? Knew he would be. But I was too late again. What were you thinking, leaving the house like that? You're not well yet. You're still badly wounded, Corvus. You have to take more care of yourself. Wormwood is a pleasant village. My stay here has taught me this much. Sere Serena. Ser yeah, Serena. I will continue to watch over you when I'm gone. Please, accept this token of my oath. Your Corvus, what is it? It is a serene necklace. It will glimmer when a Celestrine is near at hand. I pray that it glitters always. You... You mean you'll be by my side forever? It's weird, he's kind of started out like I did in the beginning of the game. It's like when two people just... just massively diverge. There you are! Father, what is it? It's bad news, I'm afraid. Very bad. Imperial soldiers are here looking for me? Do they never learn? Seems I must teach them another lesson. No, wait. There are too many of them. Loads more than last time. You may be a guardian. But with your injuries, you'll never be able to take them all on. What would you have me do? I must protect the village. I must face them. No. You better ha go and hide in the cave by the spring. I will tell the soldiers the Celestians cleared off back to his own land. But if I do so, please, Corvus, for me, I can't bear to see you hurt anymore. Very well. Serena, go with him and hide. And take that Special medicine from the drawer. Just in Oh. But, father? I'll keep the soldiers out of the village for as long as I can. The rest is up to you. Come on, Corvus. We have to hurry. I don't like that. I don't like the... The idea of special medicine. The, the necklace gives us away. You better hide it. Serena? Serena? Oh, that's where she... That's why it was there. Okay. This is a nice little detail. No one will find it here. Quickly, let's go. We made it. Thank goodness. We'll never find us here. We're safe for now. Corvus? Serena, I'm sorry. I must return to the village. The Guardian cannot turn his back on the place he has sworn to protect in its time of greatest peril. I... I thought you might say that. But I can't let you go in your state. Here. I think they knew he would come back. What is it? It's a special medicine from our village. My father made it. It'll heal your wounds. I know not how effective mortal medicine may be on a Celestian's wounds. Well, thank you. 
I'll use it gratefully. What? What is this? Uh, sleeping drought? Serena, why? Give me Corvus. I had to do it. I couldn't let you go. You would have been injured even more horribly. And I couldn't bear that. Even if avoiding it meant deceiving you. Well, what have we here? Just as promised, it's our winged friend. Jolly good show. Get your soldiers. What are you doing here? I won't let you brutes take my Corvus from me. And who, may I ask, is this young lady? Please, don't hurt her. She's my daughter. Old man fucking making schemes here. You promised you wouldn't hurt anyone from the village. You gave me your word. Yeah, and they're just going to raise it to the ground anyways. F Father, no. You betrayed us. How could you? Serena, try to understand. It... It was for the sake of the village. You traded our village safeties for its guardian? I can't believe you do something so awful. Corvus. Corvus, wake up, please. Wake up. Uh, Serena. You. Stop that. Wait. She was the one who tricked the Celestrian into taking the sleeping potion. She helped us get him. Gotta go easy on her after she helped you like that. Serena. Is this true? Can you really have done such a thing? No, it's not true, Corvus. You mustn't believe him. Hmm. Very well, then. We're only here for the Celestrian. I don't much care about anything else. You two. If you'd be so kind as to chain him up and escort him out of here. Yes, sir. Oh, God, I'm at an angle. I'm getting carpal tunnel. Corvus. Corvus. Now, what am I forgetting? Oh, yes. Would you mind awfully executing these two? But, but we had a deal. You're in no place to negotiate, old man. Well, yes. But I also said I didn't much care about anything but getting my hands on the winged fellow. Awfully sorry, old boy. No! Oh, could this... Serena, you have to get away from here. Go quickly. Oh, old man's going. He's bringing the beat stick. Uh, f father. They've got rage and they got sharp. What do you need? Corphus. Wait for me, Corphus. Even if I die here today, I will find you. Wherever you are. However long it takes, I will find you. So that's what happened. Well, I can see why old Corvus isn't madly keen on mortals. He must think you sold him up the river. I have to find him and tell him what really happened that day. That's why I've been searching for him all these years. And if he's moved on somewhere else, I have to follow. Okay, I gotta move my mouse. I'm getting carpal tunnel. Ah. Uh, well, he's somewhere else alright. I wonder what else he's planning on doing all the way up there. 
Well, looks like we're done here. The decor really doesn't do much for me, so let's make like a tree and er, bow out, shall we? Ah, oh, thank crikey, you're all right. Some fella called up old Barbaras and went off flying. And I hadn't heard nothing from ya, so I got a bit worried and came looking. A bit worried, he says. Do you have any idea what's been going on? Huh. <laughs> we should call you Fat Head, not Fat Guts. Hey, be nice to him. You know, we, we broke out of prison together. We're, we're cellmates. That feller was the one behind everything. He was stupidly powerful. Excuse me. And now he's flown off to the realm of the Almighty. You what? Look, you better tell me all about it on the way back to the observatory. Them Celestrians you rescued are all waiting aboard the star flight for a lift home. You'd better get moving. I like Sterling. He's a nice contrast to Stella. He's no nonsense. All can his friends leave the getting him palace behind and return to the freed Celestrians to the observatory. Then... Can it truly be? The light that ravaged our realm. The rebirth of the Gish Empire. <sighs> this was all... This is all the work of Corvus. It is centuries since his disappearance. To think he languished in an imperial prison all these years. His anguish can only be imagined. And his bitterness has consumed him entirely. He has fallen from grace. Oh, this is like, um... The one guy from The Stand. The guy that, while the plague was ravaging the world... He was in prison. And he had to just eat whatever rats came by. Just to survive. Moving my mouse back as I'm shifting in my chair. Ah. Hawk. Corvus. Who has fallen from grace. Has ascended to the realm of the almighty in the hope of supplementing... They're supplanting Xenos himself. Kind of easy to do when he's not there. Would that I could send you to stop him before it is too late. But as you know. Oh god, this voice makes me yawn. A Celestrian cannot stand against his superior. And driven by hatred as he is. Down among us outstrips Corvus now. Not even myself. That was like a power rating system, rather than a seniority thing, huh? Oh, almighty one. I know not where you may be, but I beg of you, heed my prayer. Deliver us from the evil of Corvus, whom hatred hath corrupted. Defend the protectorate from destruction. I beg of you. You're asking... You're asking the guy who wanted to blow up the world to protect the world. At least ask Celestria. She seems to be down with helping us. Thank you for your report. You may now leave. Nope, oh, wrong one. Those bastards still left me with one HP. It's fine. It's fine. Wow. So, uh, more heal is almost basically a full heal. Hmm? A mysterious voice sounds through the air. Hawk, my child. I must speak with you. Come to me. Come to the foot of the world tree. Okay, you don't want- okay, I hear you, you don't have to blind me. Can I please open? 
Finally, what's in here? A goddess ring. And a lump of orichalcum. Now, if I remember right, a goddess ring regenerates MP with every step you take. And increases magical mending, so we're putting that on our boy. Matthias, so handsome, he's got the goddess looking out for him. He's just that fucking handsome, and he's just that much of a cool priest. I, I kind of like the green hat on him, but the pink one is the better one, unfortunately. Do we have any better weapons for you, my boy? Actually, there's... No way, that's not the best spear. Wait. Actually, it's 70... Oh, no. Yeah, I mean, it only goes up by 10. Okay, that was a very good uh, chest. That was well worth the wait. Because, look, 145. Oh, hey, maybe it doesn't work in here. Where is, where's the save place? I'm going to save the game after that. Oh, it's below us, isn't it? Does this place just regenerate chests? Let's find out. Uh, yes it does. That's another seed of life. Every day. Give it to me. Give it to the tank. See if I got any more seeds. Seed of Deafness. Give that to Brenna because she's technically our- she's multi-classing as our thief. And Deafness, I believe every 100 point of Deafness... ...increases crit chance by 1%, so it's like a... So I went up by like 0 0.02? Which... More chance for Brenna to crit is just more things for Brenna to kill. Oh, wait. Technically, my party members aren't here. It's so weird how, like, your party members are just not here. Which I get, I get it. I'm, sp I'm technically not human, so they couldn't see any of the stuff I'm doing. But the train is like a physical thing, right? I mean, people can't see it, but you at least be like, Yo, I'm a Celestrian, and once you step on board after I show you, you can see everything. Because in the little, like, intro video, it shows the companions in the... Like, up offering things to geek yourself. Maybe also technically- oh my- okay, no, I thought the chest was open too. I guess technically also your party members are supposed to be Celestrians, which is why so many of them are gone. It's like- actually, that's really cool from a narrative perspective. Every one of your party members around here is a Celestrian. And because you don't really see any named Celestrians, God knows how many there are. That's actually a really cool idea. But I guess the, the ones you meet with Patty really aren't. Skies are, are streaked across with sadness. Corvus's hatred and anger threaten to consume our world entirely. But we cannot allow him to sin any further. He is a soul that can yet be saved. Hark, Hawk. All the mortals to whom age you and have come so willingly. All the lives that have been filled with sorrow had it not been for your intervention. My eyes!
Gratitude fills their hearts to overflowing. Their pure mortal hearts. Oh, good lord. Pays being the hero. It is their turn now to come to your aid. To lend you their power in return. Singular fig. Behold, a fig born of all of your good deeds. A gift from all of those who you have helped so selflessly. Hawk obtains a fig. Eat this fig, Hawk. Consume it, and become mortal. Do so, that you might overcome the law of the Celestrians and battle Corvus. That you might bring his sinning to an end. As that this is no easy choice, I understand. But there can be no other way. Go to the realm of the mighty. Stop them for all of our sakes. Is there like an item in my bag? Guess I go talk to Apis. Let him know what I'm about to do. Oh boy, I won't be a Celestrian anymore. Does that mean I won't be able to see the star flight? Or Stella? There is no other with the power to defeat Corvus. You're bound by the laws of the Celestrians as you are. You cannot stand against a superior. Driven by hatred as he is. Okay, so I just gotta... I go to the star flight? Watch the fake like be on the ground. I just need to pick it up, and I just missed it because I'm blind. Oh, these stairs! Why do we have so many stairs? We have wings. Oh, you guys got wings. You saw towers overhead, silent, steadfast, and serene. I don't think Stella's gonna be happy with what I gotta do. A man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. If anyone has to do it, it might as well be me so no one else has to. I heard what Celestia said, Sunshine. But do you really reckon you could just give up being a Celestrian and spend the rest of your days as a mortal? I don't reckon you... Even your... Bar me enough to go doing something like that. Eh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you really do want to go after Corvus that much. If you do, now's the time to show it. Choose the path, sunshine. I'm with you all the way. Fly into the realm of the Almighty and beyond. What the flap are you saying, you stupid idiot? You don't. Think before you start clapping your trap. If Hawk becomes immortal, he won't be able to see us anymore, will he? They can't expect you to do it, Hawk. Not for anything. Don't flap and do it. Stella, if I don't, someone else has to, and I'm not putting that on anyone else. Now 
That's what a hero does. Hawk eats the fig. No, he ate it. He ate it. I'll miss you guys. No, wait. Hawk. Hawk, you can hear me? Talk to me. I can hear you, actually. Well, you answered, so you must be able to. Phew. So it didn't work? Thank Flap for that. It must be because you don't have any wings or a halo or anything. The fig didn't think you were Celestrian. Sorry to disappoint you, Treacle. But it, it worked alright. Can't you feel it? He's got mortal written all over him. I reckon the only reason he can still see us is because it ain't finished yet. It'll probably just take a bit longer to work. Once it does, Sunshine, well, us, Starflight, Observatory, you won't be able to see none of it no more. Oh, for Flap's sake. I try and look on the bright side, and old Fat Guts has to open his big flapping mouth and ruin it all. Well, excuse me for telling the truth. We can't all spend our lives away with the fairies. Look, Hawk, you proved how much you want this. And I, for one, ain't gonna stop you doing what you gotta do. So where to next? Going after Corvus or heading down below? It's up to you, Sunshine. I like Sterling. He knows what's going on. He's a man. So where to? Going after Corvus or heading below? So let me know which stop you need dropping off at. Take me to the Rumley Almighty. Virgil. It's Devil May Cry 5 all over again. Oh, I don't like that. Mmm. The evil world tree. The nega tree. What? How did you get the architecture to become a circle? Is that flesh? Well, that's not exactly easy on the eyes, is it? Or the guts? I've got a bad feeling about this. That corpus character needs a... That corpus character needs a serious talking with about his taste in evil fortresses. <sighs> Alright, Satan. What are you? A genie sanguini. That thing's a demon, right? The a freeze. The other ones have been demons. It's just fluttering about. Oh yeah, I got the stun. Yeah, well, that was kind of easy. Yeah, I knew there would be goodies around here. You can't hide from me. I don't need nose for treasure. They actually run from me? That implies that I'm overleveled. Oh, I don't like these birds. The birds so far have never been good. They've been like debuff multi-attacking assholes. 
So let's get them out before we fight whatever that yellow thing is. What are you? Cumulus Vex. Weakening Wave. Oh no, the attack of my casters has gone down. Whatever will I do? Delicia Beacon. Piece of crimson coral. Why does the bird have coral? Door's locked from the inside. Well, then we just go inside. Oh, that's a mound of flesh. And there, let's fight the dragon. The red dragon. By the way, uh, Matthias's MP has gone up. He survived. I was gonna say he wasn't gonna survive both of us. Really? 94 gold. What's with the chintzy gold? Come on, this is the end game. Are you a different Cyclops or are you just still a normal Cyclops or Gigantus? Yeah, that was the critter miss move. I remember those. Well, good news is we're gonna get massive attack stacks. And he's still alive. Oh, Brenna. That's Frizzle, I guess. Okay, good. I figured he had to be low. There's no way he has that much HP. I haven't fought anything with, like, super crazy HP. Oh my god, he heals so much. Look, if I'm gonna... If they're gonna make me a heal bot as a priest, I'm gonna be a damn good heal bot. Oh, so here's a question for anyone listening. If you had to be one of the classes in this game, what class do you think you would realistically be? I'd probably be a priest. Just because I like I like healing. I'd probably be a wand. Let's specify with also the weapon of choice. I'd probably be a wand priest just because my priority would probably be making sure my friends don't die. You know, I'd be that healer in the dungeon that's just constantly, like, sewing and mending your wounds. As we go. Not really taking any of the glory of winning. That was never kind of my style. I remember this armor. And it's some mighty fucking armor. I'm putting that on, because that has a chance to reflect magic. Hi, buddy. Oh, that's two of them. That's two of them. Chop that tree down now. Chop it down! Do not let them go. Fuck! I was really hoping that'd kill him! No. Okay, you can hit me. I'm, 
I'm totally cool with that. Okay, now we need to memorize the turn order. So my casters, who are my fastest guys, then the Gigantus. Okay. I'm taking these guys away more seriously than I probably should. But they're just big scary dudes. If I remember right too, if I like find some materials, I can actually make this like gold mirror armor. And it's probably some of the armor that... It might have the most armor in the game, actually. At least until I get like some super crazy stuff later. It's like 60 something. Aha. Uh -huh. Nothing in here. Oh, here we go. Have I fought you? Some cure slimes. I think I fought you before. It's really weird that you're just here as a base enemy. I will take your MP though. Quit hitting my healer. I mean, they're healers too, so they probably know to, to hit the, the healer. Thias mid heal on himself. I love that his magical mending is just so high that I can still like like my mage could be healed with with just normal base level one heal. You know what? You've got MP to spare. They're not amused. Why do they always hit my mage, dude? They're in the back line. That means they're less likely to get hit. Oh, that's right. This is me and RNG. Whack them. Now you've got mittens. My turn. Stick him in the ass. There we go. God, 220. Her damage just keeps going up. And it's been a while since Brenna's like gotten a like a new axe. Granted, the one she has is pretty mighty. Oh, she's gonna learn Helm Splitter next, man. Well, assuming we can get four more skill points next level with her, she'll be able to go do the X training quest. <sighs> Snuck through. See the magic. Maximum MP. Matthias. 100%. That got an extra cast of healing. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. Can't get me. I'm too slick. Average hawk strat, just get, just fight every enemy once. 
to get them in the uh, the bestiary and then dodge them like the plague. Oh, nice try, buddy. This place is kind of cool, I'm not going to lie. Kind of reminds me of Oblivion. You know, when you were actually in Oblivion. <sighs> I do kind of wish the priest had a little more going on, you know? Like, it's kind of a shame he did, they don't have, like, Kabuff. They... Actually, now I think about it. Okay, they got, they got buff. Yeah, got insulate. Yeah, they don't really have a lot of buffs for being the support character, funny enough. Okay, protects the party against undead attacks. Prevents instant death, who gives a damn. And increases magical mending. Yeah, they really... They really don't have a lot. Granted, you're probably spending most of your time healing. But it'd be nice if they had, like, some AoE party buffs. They have buff, but they don't have cub buff. Paladin has cub buff. He's not really a caster if my MP is to go anything by. Brenna's not gonna get skill points next level. Neither is Donna. Yep, magic bridge. I figured. Man, those are some sturdy, well placed pots if they survive this whole thing. What do we got here? Seat of skill. Multi thrust is pretty mighty. Brennan's not going to get anything for a while. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, I guess me. I'm the closest person to getting something. That's just not me hogging all that good shit because I'm technically the tank and the, the main character. I almost clicked on Matthias. Miscellaneous, allocate skill points, hawk. I'll only need three more. Fifteen more, and I can wield the spear with any class. That'll be good. Granted, all the classes I, I'm specking into already are using the spear, but... No, it's just nothing. Out of the way. I'm gonna go kill your boss. Although, let's be real. This is a JRPG. It's gonna be like a multi-phase fight, isn't it? Oh wait, that's the guy we need to kill with the Kafriz. Yeah, the Great Troll. Everyone just pound on his ass for a turn. He's probably got tons of HP. Look at that fat boy. That's a guy that's max on constitution, if you know what I mean. Oh yeah, he's, he's hamburger, dude. I've got so many abilities now. Alright, Donna, you defend. Troll gets the giggles.
So that's kind of the problem with me being like the, uh, the tank. I'm very slow. So, me trying to egg someone on is usually at the end of the turn. This man's going to go through a roller coaster of emotions. He's going to be terrified and then he's going to be laughing his ass off. some more um i don't think spooky aura is gonna take away tension at least i hope not we're gonna learn didn't work that was six mp though And then we're gonna egg her on again just in case it doesn't work. Boosh! For Matthias! That's one in total. How many of those do we have to do? Battle records. Corvus must have some serious power if he's managed to redecorate the whole realm of the Almighty to his own questionable taste. Damn, these shots fired. Five times. How long have I been going for? Almost now two hours. Wait, no, we all, we all peck him once. That's right. Don't crit him. Crom laughs at you. Okay, now we go through the, the laborious process. Of getting through this. It's not amused. But he, he licks his weapon and laughs. Interesting. And then we're going to use Channel Anger to turbo boost our magical might. <laughs> Just bully him, Brenna. Take his lunch money. Spooky. We've got so much MP, we can burn it here. We might be fine. So let's try it. Oh. Mm. Okay. Now we just have to do that three more times. And then... Alright, so we just do this three more times, we punch Satan in the mouth, we save the world, call it a good day, we go to the Winchester, and laugh over a pint of beer. Oh, realistically, I should go to the door. So I can do this. Oh. 
I'm gonna take these pots though. Get a little MP back. He's asleep. He immediately wakes up. Actually, you need a heal. Right now. More channel anger. Yes, hit me. I'm not afraid of you. Nice crit, bitch. One damage. This guy thinks he's hot stuff. Let's try it. Damn it. Yeah, so if anyone's ever wondered, like, Hawk, why do you always, like, do the grind off stream? This is why. It's not, uh, it's not as entertaining, is it? Damn, Channel Anger actually is, um... It's a lot. Where are you, fat fuck? I like how we got the giant rip dude, and then we got the, the big old fat boy. Oh wait, I can go through here. Ooh. No, thank you, sir. Oh, I didn't think I'd be able to squeeze through that one. Also, the reason I'm doing this now is because I don't know if I'll be able to come back here. And I'd rather not... God damn it. I'd rather not go through, like, grottos to try and find a great troll. Get some of my MP back. Oh, that's a thing I can do while I'm just burning my turns to charge up tension. I can use Focus Pocus. She'll get all her MP back. Anyone just wail on him. Nice. Sleep wall is kind of annoying if you like focus fire like I do. It's a lot better than confusion because I don't know why, but every time an enemy's confused, they immediately run away. I don't like that Sam I am. Yo whiffed. My guy is extraordinarily tanky, isn't he? I mean, I guess that is kind of my my role in the party. Don Donna. Oh wait, no. We all swing at him. Nice. Oh, he's still asleep. Not anymore, though. Gone. War cry, prep fall. Focus, focus. It's weird that it costs 3 MP to use. 
And it's just MP regen every turn. I got one MP back, baby. Hell yeah. I'm gonna channel anger. There's actually a lot of things a mage can do, like, setup-wise. They can turbo boost their magical might. They can just preemptively, like, put on Focus Pocus to keep their mana up. Then obviously there's the, uh, the strategy of just sapping. Like, sap spamming. Which is apparently, I read the game guide, I found it online. Is literally every single boss encounter in that guide says spam sap, basically. Please be a no more fight. The frizz, no way. I just one great troll, that's four. We just need one more, guys. And then we can go... Then we can get back to what we were doing. A la... Saving the world. Come on. Your little Jimbro ain't gonna save ya. Come on out. Come on, I, I got... I got donuts. I got sugar. I know he likes sugar and I got some. Got him. The Scott Steiner taunting was effective. Please do not kill him. What can I say other than I knew it was going to happen? This happens every time I grind. Or I'm so close to finally getting it done, and then one of my party members fucks up. Remember when Matthias did that when I was trying to unlock the armamentalist? Fuck. No. Oh, you're a piece of shit. You're gonna get it now, though. Oh my god, 300 damage. 500 damage! Okay, where is it? Whipping Boy Matthias. So he can more heal himself. And take as much MP as you can. That's your role right now, Donna, is just try to get as much MP as you can. Nice. Come on. Got some jelly donuts here. Fat bastard. Five MP. That's a, that's a channel anger right there. There we go. Actually, you know what? Donna doesn't really have to worry about that much MP because he's only missing like, what, 16? Give him a spooky aura. Give him, give him one. Didn't work. It's good to know that Matthias is faster than him. And then... A little channel anger. A 
Okay, Matthias is in a really weird place on the initiative table. Just keep building, just keep building. Uh, we'll go one more round and then we'll take a shot. Nice. Man, it's sad that I'm slower than this fat ass troll. Hawk's so mean to him for his weight. Yes, yeah, because it makes him angry. If he was skinny, I'd get him for something else. Alright, let's continue. Matthias will just be a priest for the whole game. Because we're going to go beat the Bane bad guy now. Because... I really don't want to have to grind him all the way up, dude. Oh, you're... new. A prism peacock. Oh, if only he was a C. What the fuck? Oh, if only Matthias is a sage, he's got the move that's super effective against birds. That dude was, uh... It's kind of scary. It's so good. New enemy... The Cobra Cardinal. Ooh. I like that idea. I'm kind of creative with some of these names. Fuck you. I guess it is kind of nice having the Gladiator not be too fast. Because... It allows me to get that scaling attack buff going. What are you? A night knight. Night night. Okay, that was kind of scary, actually. How many of these skeleton guys have we fought? Like these skeleton knight ones. There was the there was the red and the yellow one. Yes, taunt me. Let's see what else was there. I feel like there's another one before this one too. Get out done. Oh that's cute. I healed just as much, but it was my entire What is this guy's block chance? He blocked two attacks in a row, and then he blocked a third hit prior. And he crit. Oh, it's okay. Well, Brandon got the two hits. I think I uh, got that goddess ring going, you know? Another minute. I have yet to drop off my mini mills, dude. No, 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 no. You know what? I'll be fine for a round. I should not be casting a fire spell on the red dragon. But I did. He's asleep. Okay, he's still asleep. Everyone pile on. This asshole. Get 
Okay, maybe we should get the Night Knight before we get the dragon. I wanted to get the dragon because I know he's probably going to spam like Fire Breath or something. But I think the Night Knight takes priority because his AoE move probably hurts a lot more. What do we got up here? It heal on me. It basically heals me to full. Out of the way. Yeah, buddy. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, Ultramarines. Those are decent deafness. I can make a utility bill out of those. Or with those. What's in here? Oh, this looks like a treasure room. Pots. I'll take those. They're snakes, right? They're probably weak to... Okay. Yep. Love to say it. Oh, you're gonna pay for that, bucko. You really did. <laughs> I channeled my irritation through my paladin. So I realize I'm using the dark shield, aren't I? God, this goddess ring is doing wonders, I tell ya. I don't want to fight you. Boy, you are fast. You're like Keemstar fast. Okay, then we didn't go around here. You weren't even out of the ground yet. Okay, don't cast spells on them. I, lo I looked at that 42 and I thought, oh no, that's a lot. Well, my health bar barely moved, in all honesty. I forget how tanking my guy, like how high my guy's defense is and how high Brenna's health is. Nice. Just? Oh, dude, come on. Hey, where do these go? I'm really getting off the beaten path here. Door's locked. Hawk unlocks it. Nice. Shortcut. I thought I killed you. Hey, you think he's, since he's a pig and he died to Grey Gnarl, do you think he's super weak to fire? That'd be kind of funny. It'd be like in uh, Shadow of Mordor. You burn a guy with fire, but he lives, and then he gets a phobia of fire. Bag. What? Wait, where's that? Excuse me? Who has that? Give that to me. Take the strong medicine. Give that to me because I'm the least likely to die. Wait, or no, should I? No. Don't give it to me because I have Kerplunk. Give it to 
Madonna. I should honestly give her some... Some medicines or something. That's only 60? Transfer to Donna. Give her some some healings. We we've never really used these, but it's good to have. God damn it! Can't get away from the fights. I just want you gone. Oh no. The magic armor worked. Whoop de doo. Nice. Sleepy stick's kind of pulling its weight. Again, Matthias really doesn't do damage, but right now, <laughs> there's more things he's just proccing sleep. Quit it! Wow, the, uh, the magic reflection is happening a lot. By the way, Matthias is now at full MP thanks to the Goddess Ring. I was talking about like maybe like a wand priest. Is he's constantly just got healing, and we've healing after every fight. I now have two of those. That's interesting that he actually drops class specific armor. Fuck off. Alright, Porkins. I know I shouldn't be hugging the limelight like this, but Corvus very thoughtfully used his powers to save my bacon. And I would have to be an absolute pig not to repay his favor by trouncing those who are swine enough to oppose him. You switched loyalties real fast. Oh, well, guess what? You don't have Disruptive Wave. Let's have them. Nice. That's cute. I don't think I'm going to blind man's biff him because I want to save my MP because I mean we're obviously going to fight Corvus. And if this guy's here, chances are it's a boss gauntlet. Alright, that's a better hit. I respect it. I respect it. Gonna oomph now. Also gonna cap... <laughs> nice dry hoss. Brenna, please. Think what happened last time you didn't, like, do it right. You know what? Just hit him. Just, just hit him. Ooh, seven. Ha. 
Was he that weak before? Or did they tone him down because... Let's be real, there's gonna be an incoming boss rush. Oh, there's a blue chest over there, hold on. Fucking in the corridor. Sage of Stone. Very important we grab those. Because those are a thing we can't really alchemize. And there's a lot of items that require a Sage's Stone. So, mid heal heals for like 90, but his magical mending heals it for basically double that. Okay, now we go upstairs. So, what would be next? Hootingham? I'm assuming. And then Purvis. So, the order we fought them before. Ooh. Ruby of Protection. Very nice. I like it. I think my guy is actually wearing a Ruby of Protection. Because you know tank. And Brenna's got the mighty armlet. Thais has the the goddess ring. And I don't even remember what Donna has. The brainy bracer, that's right. Do you have anything? I guess it's the only magical might item I have. Lord knows I won't be able to use a monarch's mark. These things are fucking expensive to get. They're super rare to get. And there's so many items that need them. For alchemy. Do you want that that queen's or that empress coat or that king's coat? Gonna need a lot of those boy. The saints ashes are super fucking rare. You're new. Draculard. <laughs> no, I don't want to state any patterns going on here, but uh, there's a lot of fatties. And again, that usually implies that they have a lot of health. It's got hops too. Maybe he's more of an inflation fetish guy than he is like a rotund man. That's how he's got hops. He's full of air. Well, I lost that balloon. There's a thing down there and I want it. Coming for you. Oh, I see how to get you. Okay, the, the Gigantus isn't that scary. Please don't crit me after I say that. Joke's on you, I'm a more physical-oriented team. Five damage. Brenna sneezes at that. I probably could have had Matthias just cast heal on himself, but whatever. You dickhead. As soon as I say that, the instant I say that. Anyways, item. You come on, baby. Oh, yeah, I'll take one of those. Did 
That healed him for over 130. What a lad. Hmm, a flesh bridge. Oh boy, you know me, I love my, my flesh shaft. Well, this is a long way down. And I have to hold it. I'm guessing this is a Dark Souls shortcut? Are you waiting for me, fuckboy? I fought crabs fiercer than you. Yeah, that's cute. Uh, you reduced Brenna's physical attack. It's still going to be way more than you're willing to handle. Especially if she gets two attacks. Her attack is so high, it doesn't matter if her attack goes down. Her damage is just that crazy. Seed of Life? A mini metal? Please go away. Door's locked. Hawk unlocks it. Shortcut. No, we're fine though. I say that and you know, like we're handling business. But I have a feeling Corvus is gonna shove my own dick up my ass once I get up there. You know how JRPG final bosses are. Long way up. I guess we are basically going through like the entire dungeon. Oh my god, they're afraid of me. I know we've already come to the conclusion, but it still baffles me. Let's beat them up. Oh yeah, they're not very strong if Matthias is doing a higher end damage. It's concerning though that they can raise their attack. Like that. 200 even. Don't let them attack. Just, just nip that in the bud right now. As the setup king, I refuse to let them set up. Okay, here we go. What's, what's over here? This is like a side passage, and there's been some good loot here today. How do I... Is this the way up? No, no, it's just a chest. Take it, though. They're giving me good stuff. A Gleban gold piece. Hey, move. Oh, damn it. Oh, it's just one. You really should have done something. Man, yeah, we've come a long way with our guys, you know? We've been through so many journeys with... With Brenna and Matthias and Donna. Some stories. Oh man, you know what I'm world doing? I'm gonna make them something special. Especially Brenna. Brenda's is kind of crazy. A cow pat. You know what? I'm actually okay with getting cow pats. Because... Uh, I guess boom. Because I believe cow pats are used to make... The ingredients for enchanted stones and ethereal stones. So super good magical armor stuff. Hmm, yeah. Now check this out. 
he's taunted by Brenna. So I'm just gonna whipping boy Brenna. Man, whipping boy, when it comes in clutch, it, it when you need to come in clutch, it really does. Especially when like someone gets low and you just know that the, the enemy is gonna attack them. Don't let him run away. When they're confused, they always run away. Or they get stunned when you don't want them to. Strength ring? Not bad. Oh damn it, I gotta go back in there. I didn't see the wall. Come on. I don't like that, Sam I am. Oh. Stop it! 180? I mean, it's fine if Matthias got blocked, but... Oh my god, they're block chance! What, do they have like a 30% block chance? Fuck off with that, dude. And they keep hitting my mage. Donna almost doing 200 damage though with those with those frizzes. I'm sorry, is that a seed of magical mending? Okay, enemies, I'm gonna need to ask you to fucking chill. Give that to Matthias. That's only three, but... The second most important thing about a healer, after healing, is not dying. So what's a healer gonna do when he's got no one to heal? Or what's what's the part you're gonna do when the healer can't heal? That's also, I guess, another thing with the priest is they have decent weapons. Like, yeah, they have wands, which is more for, like, casting. But they also have staves and spears. So their attack isn't awful. But I think... Ooh, you're new. But I think the thing is that the priest is building up, like, the stackable damage buff for basic attacking for the warriors. So while Matthias really doesn't do damage... And isn't like Donna who just doesn't and compensates. He is still contributing to the party with that sleepy stick. Rock and sleep. Boosting Brenna's damage. Oh wait, you're a uh you're clearly a demon. Stop it. Stop it. It's pretty fast, too. All right, Corvus, enough of your games. Hold it. Matthias is already back at a full MP. Who, 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 who should it be but you, Hawk? What a pleasant surprise. 
I owe my comeback to the one who, who they say fell from grace. To with the former Celestrian Corvus. And now he seems to think he's the one who's calling all the shots. Oh, oh, oh. I'll show him who's boss. That will have to wait. I have more pressing matters to attend to. To it humiliating you in battle. You were scarier when you had your boys with you. She's a mage. She shouldn't have sap resistance. Okay, that's fine. Wait. Spells. You're gonna psych up. I'm just gonna attack. Do you have... Oh, what is that spell? Who has bounce? Wait, you have bounce. Somewhere. Protective Warrior that reflects all enemy spells. Okay, so... That's fine. You'll just oomph the party. And he's just gonna do his AoE bullshit. I mean, his strategy is to will us all down together at once. But that's probably not gonna happen. Here's my plan. I can't hit him with spells. But I can buff the party. Ah, Hootingham's got good taste. So I'm going last, so I'm gonna hit with the oomph buff. Burn up, please! Oh, I should I should cast Focus Pocus. No. I would have been shaking if Fuddle confused Brenna. Okay, you're just gonna hit him. I can't risk having that high of tension hitting me. Immediately. <laughs> I feel like he's way weaker. Granted, he did have some... He did have two tanks with him. Nice. No one's gonna get any skill points. So, ooh, some Malasite. How much... That's not right. How much longer is this tower? I gotta be like two thirds of the way up, right? These guys are clearly weak to fire. Okay. Okay, so they don't have any MP. Great. There's some tanky boys, however. I'm gonna focus focus to get some MP back. Or at least be a net positive. If it takes more than one round. Will you stop it?
Now look at me. I have the multi heal. Are you happy with yourself? They're all. Is that all they have? Is breath attacks? There we go. So we can't go that way. There's, there's a ladder there. Is there a, I mean this is this is cool, but it doesn't lead anywhere. Is there a treasure chest back here? Nope, just more uh more texture glitches. God damn it. Okay, at least it's one this time. I should have fireballed. Their defense is really high. But we pecked him at enough. I think he might be going down soon. He's also got no MP. Here we go. Rusty sword. Excuse me? That's right, you can't use swords. A shabby and unshiny sword whose origins are obscure. Hey, there's the frizzle foil. Slender sword that would suit a seriously skilled soldier. I feel like the rusty sword is like a super secret thing. Like, carry this with you and it'll turn into like a godslayer sword. It's nice having a stas effect on the axe, but confusion gives me anxiety. Because I feel like they're just going to run away. You'd think it'd be like, hit your teammates, but no. Okay, so where do we go from here? It's gotta be up, right? I must have missed something. No. Well, I guess I have to go the other way. I'm gonna assume that the rusty sword is actually like a really super powerful item. They had like an entire like little section here. Unfortunately, I don't use swords. I should have given Brenna a sword, but I just like the idea of just them carrying a big old axe. Nope, I didn't mean to... I didn't want to do that. I wanted to be able to freeze. So I was just mashing. Well, at least in case you don't get the regen, you at least get 1 MP. I say that asshole's going down.
Oh, there's no need to prep fall now, I guess. Poison. We're almost to the top of the tower, Chad. At least I hope so. Excuse me. Oh, thank God. A holy headpiece that hinders the effects of harmful spells. Really? Wow, that's a big headpiece now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you woke up from that. Ironic, we got medicine now that. Okay. I must have been going for like three hours. Wait, hold on. Oh, I was hoping to like extend my like treasure. We've been going for like almost three hours now, but we're near the end of the game. So we might as well keep going. Really? Just gonna park your fat ass right there? Damn it. The stun never happens, dude. That's like the entire reason you have that ability. Oh my god, I think he really might be an inflation dragon. Dude's got hops, despite his size, and he's casting swoosh. She does Caduceus? That does. Regen that MP, girl. You're not gonna do damage anyways. You leave her alone. Pop that balloon. You know, Matthias, he's on top of that shit. Top of that healing. His cool little, like, staff twirlies, too. That's cute. He's still going. I guess this will be a way for Donna to get her MP back, I guess. We're just blocking the way. These are some tall ladders. I don't like these narrow hallways. My maneuverability counts for shit. Oh, you're, uh, you're new. I'm sick tiger tours. What are your beast types? I can tell you that much. That did not do a lot. I 
day. The night night literally has hit no one but Donna. Like, collectively as an enemy. And it infuriates me. And now we gotta spend five turns casting Zing. Because it never works. So you gotta talk shit. See, and that's another thing about confusion. It's like you would think like, okay, they hit their allies. Or have a chance to. They never do. When it's like they start attacking randomly, they don't really attack. Like, what is the fucking point? Mid heal heals Donna to full, basically. That's how low her HP is. Heal yourself, Matthias. You gotta love yourself every now and then. Why does everyone keep casting AoEs? Jeez, no wonder why mid heal's so good, because everyone keeps fucking spamming AoE attacks. jumped in there before I get in the, the pots. Angel Bell. Uh, 30 HP medicinal herb. Wee! It's like Morrowind. Hey, buddy. Matthias. Basically at full MP. Um, before we do that, yeah, I knew it. A file of Elfin Elixir. Is there anything on the other side? I'd put two. Just because Purvis is just right there in the center of attention. I am a faithful servant of the head of House of Git. To suggest that it might serve another as a pernicious insult. As there is no head of house of, at, head of the house at the moment, my only purpose is to find suitably skilled opponents to fight. Now would seem like the perfect time for us to see whose skills are greater, eh? Look, shall we? I always think like Matthias has something to do, but he really doesn't. You're gonna blunt first. That never fucking works, though. I was gonna do it because he just attacks twice. You lucky motherfucker. I'm not going to take that insult lying down like I am now. Hacks away like a demon. Yes, hit me. I'm the warrior you want to fight. So if Brenna gets a hundred tension, then Donna will spend her turn next casting oomph because Donna always goes faster than Brenna. Nice.
Nice. Matthias ain't going down so easily. He ain't just giving up the limelight. Heal yourself. And oomph on Brenna. Are you fucking serious? Brenna, kill him. Thank you. Fucking punk ass bitch. Of course he pulls it off right, right before the killing blow. And our healer too, who by the way is the only one that can cast a zing. We don't have a revival item, do we? Purvis, you're such a fucking asshole, dude. Do I really not have... I do not. So my name... That was the worst possible thing he could have done. Now we have to leave and crawl all the way fucking back up here. Because Yggdrasil leaves are super fucking rare and I don't want to use the party-wide revive item. Fuck, dude. And it's such a long way back down, too. I'm actually angry about that. And it was right before he died. Come on. I've got a fucking night. You need to load your slow ass in. Shut up, shut up. Sure. Take my thousand gold. I guess this is also a good place to save the game because we've gone through a lot and have not saved our game yet. We really got a decent gold on us though. To continue, yes. Let's go save our game. Or let's go rest at the end. Get all of our resources back.
Fucking Purvis, dude. He gave me a middle finger right before he died. It enrages me, but I kind of respect him for it. He got the last laugh. It's kind of like Sans, you know? It's like, well, you know, if we just don't fight, you can't beat me and you can't progress. And you can't go kill people, so, uh, why? Why? No. Yes. Take me back up. Take me back to the realm of the Almighty, please. Take me back. And now we gotta go all the way back up the tree! I mean, I guess at least there's the short... There's the shortcut here. It takes us halfway up the tree. And kids still dead Ugh. I'm curious why those little genie sanguinis are here because they're not really powerful and they run away Just fat asses in the way. That's why there's so many fat enemies here. Is because the quarters are super tiny. Oh, excuse me, someone just pinged me. Discord. There we go. Okay, what happened? Pretty much nothing. Okay, I take back what I said about not playing stuff in staff because Matthias probably has a lot more block chance. Like, he's got more defensive abilities with him. Okay. Oh, maybe it's not so bad getting back up here. I guess it just- it feels like it took longer. Because I was exploring everything to get items. God damn you, Lucifer. Let this be a lesson from uh, Papa Hawk here, you know, Big Papa Plague. When I save the world, it's not through the power of friendship, it's pure fucking spite. And with how obnoxious this climb has been, I'm gonna fucking smite Corvus. All the rage that's built up getting up here. 
I'm like a barbarian paladin. He gets a freeze, yeah, why not? Just in the off chance it stuns him. The very small off chance. Like, that's the thing, too, about this. Like, why it's such a long climb, one might think, like, oh, it lets you grind to get up to his level. I counter that by saying that metal slimes exist. And give, like, 20 times the XP. No, I'm not fighting you. You're not fun. He's just a tanky boy that just cast AoE spells. Climb our way uh, back up here. I'm not even going to bother getting the pots because... When one of the pots gives me like the lowest level healing item... I'm good. I'm good, chief. I'm not going to bother. As much as the loot goblin in me craves it. Alright, Corvus. Oh my god, we made it all the way up. Maybe not. There's still more to climb. God damn it. I'm just checking over here in case there's like a chest. Doesn't look like it. Oh, wait, wait. wait, hold on. Hold on, tie out, Corvo. Okay, now we're good. Their very existence is an insult, an abomination, a crime. Not the mortals alone. The very world created for them by their pathetic god is irredeemably tainted with sin. The only righteous path is that destruction. Immediate and total destruction. Therefore, wherefore do you come here, wingless one? You mean to prevent me from fulfilling my purpose? See the spear? It's going directly up your ass. Your intentions are foolish and utterly futile. You are bound by the law of the Celestrians and cannot take arms against me. Come, let me teach you of oblivion. He doesn't know. We can ambush him. Alrighty, Matthias, you gotta have something. Do that. Boost your healing. You probably got sap resistance out the ass, don't you? Nope. Or I just got really lucky. That is concerning the amounts of damage. I got a full mana bar, so I might as well. If I go down, take this. Laughs confidently. Boosting tension too. Brenna, will you just fucking do your goddamn job? Come off. Just 
Just in case he has a breath attack. Damn you, Brenna. How goddamn hard is it to get a hundred tension? Big boy Donna. He's gonna cast Disruptive Wave and it's gonna be all your fucking fault. He only hurts Don- His defense went back to normal. It took that fucking long. Because I literally have to hold your fucking hand for you. Why does this happen every fucking time, dude? No, I shouldn't say every time. It's happened a total of twice out of two times. Fucking useless sometimes. Like you have one job. You know what? No. You're not gonna get the glory. Cause by the time you finally get a hundred tension like you're fucking supposed to. You can't get disruptive waved again. Just do it now. Now is not the time to get complacent, Brenna. I know you've wrecked shit for most of the game, but now you are choking. It's good to know that Matthias is faster. I'm gonna need to multi-heal next turn. Don't we're gonna have more like more of Brenna's MP in stock because Oops, I almost didn't do the thing. Because I can just give my MP to her with empathy. Of course. I can't have nice things, not the end. And of course, as soon as I finally double down, it's not going to work. Maybe I should pop feel the burn when I start. Nice.
Laugh now, boyo. Because you're getting dicked. How fast am I in uh, context? I'm sorry. I was adding the funnies to the server. How can this be? How is the Celestian able to stand against me? Mm -hmm. So you have forsaken your Celestian powers to take on a mortal form. I ain't no Celestian. <laughs> How fitting. That the one who would destroy me should become mortal, and my hatred for mortal kind has made me as I am. Uh oh. He, um, not a Celestrian anymore. Fully. And just as you have shed your Celestrian form, so shall I shed mine, that I might give vent to the full force of my power. He's become perfect cell. I await you below, mortal maid. All right. I'm down to clown. Fuck, I just realized we never dealt with Barnabas, did we? Oh god, here I go again. That's the fifth time! Um... Let's see, um... That's a that's the baylet or whatever it's called from Berserk. Come to me, Barn Barbar come to me, Barbarous. Born of the darkness. Obliterate those who would destroy me. Strolls near. Alright, don't fuck this one up, Rena. You've been choking mighty hard. Insulatal. And sap. This guy's clearly gonna use breath attacks. What are we standing on? It's like Jojo, we're just suddenly flying. Mm. Matthias, hold the line. <clears throat> Thank God you didn't hit Matthias twice. That would have immediately been game over.
Oh, thank God. Do we have anything that could help? Blind man's biff. Blind man's biff, hunter tension, oomph combo. What are you saving damage? That's not bad for Matthias. Take my MP. You need it more than I. I'm gonna whipping boy for you. Psych up. Try sapping him. He's probably low now. Yeah. Yeah. His rage doesn't last long. I figured. I'm gonna use probably the. <laughs> The best, uh, coup de grace in the game. Whoosh! Okay, maybe not the best, but... Definitely my favorite. It's just so good. He does not stay in range long, which is weird because he's a dragon. You know what? Everybody smack him. Wave of panic. Oh, defense and agility. That is not good. And there's the breath attack I was waiting for. Yeah. Brenna the Dragon Slayer when she tries. Full heal. More shield. Yeeked your silly. Oh, thank God. Wait, who has it? You know what, I'm okay with that. We're gonna use our stuff now. Because this is the final battle. Heal up, everybody. Get your magic water. This is why I have so many magic waters. I just never had to use them. Because my two warriors, they don't really cast spells. And Donna just constantly gets her MP back and all Matthias does is heal and he really doesn't need to worry about it anymore. Make sure I've got... Oh, I'll drink one. I like the taste. Alright. Ooh, he's not look good. So, mortal maid, you have bested mighty barbarous. Fool. 
is my hatred, my bitterness towards mortal kind. Your kind that feeds my power, that drives my rage. And now there shall be no holding back. You will feel the full weight of my wrath. Oh, depth of my hatred. It is time. The end of all things begins. Ooh. Oh, the boss music. Nothing's happened yet. Calm down. There's the breath attack. So I know what's going to happen. Gonna do a lot of setup. Yeah, there's the breath attack again. Yes. Oh, the mirror armor's so good. I'm not risking it. Get him, Brenna. This isn't going to do as much damage. Urgh. Come on, motherfucker. That all you got. Urgh. Godwin was fiercer than you. Nice. Nice. Ugh. Ain't no stopping us, bucko. I wonder. No. Most ailment. Oh, that's, that's, that'd be nice. Increase your magical mending. This is what you've been... This is what your life has been leading up to, Matthias. A priest gonna go punch Satan in the mouth. Oh, Donna, you're beautiful. This guy's going to have a really bad time right now. I could be a memer in Kamikaze, but I'm not going to. Biff.
You know what, Matthias? Solar Flare. Unleash the power of the cosmos. Oh, he did not appreciate that. He's not going to appreciate this even more. Bitch. Yeah. I'm helping. Sick up some more. Multi heal. Sap him again. Just keep sapping him, girl. Yes, you're beautiful. This is good. We're all doing... We are maximizing what we've been built for. You will not hurt my allies. I am the wall. Just fuck with him. Matthias? Matthias did it. The priest killed the devil. Huh. How can this be? How can I? Who surpassed even the power of the Almighty, be defeated by a mere mortal. <laughs> it matters not. Revel in your pathetic victory while you can, mortal world. This world will soon be no more. You and all who dwell here will suffer complete and utter annihilation at my hands. I am the wall. I will not fall. Ah! I found you. At last. I finally found you. Huh? Serena. What business do you have with me, treacherous mortal? Corvus, I've been looking for you. I've been searching for you for so long. I was so sorry I couldn't save you that day. I've been looking for you ever since, trying to find you so I could... So I could save you at last. Save you from the darkness and the bitterness and despair. Serena, how could I have ever believed you would betray me? 
I'm ashamed. So deeply ashamed of my lack of faith. Of my rage. And you have suffered so much. You have wandered so long in search of me. Yet your will never faltered. Your resolve to bring me back from the darkness never wavered. To have believed one so pure, so blameless, could be guilty of treachery. And to have gone to such hateful lengths to exact my revenge. Had you not stopped me, I'd have allowed my hatred, my bitterness, my vengefulness to consume this world. Though I tried for all eternity, I, I might never atone for my sins, but that final, most heinous crime, that, at least, is averted. Hawk, Celestrian and Guardian, you are the pupil of my own apprentice Aquila. He has trained a worthy guardian. You must ask him to forgive me for my failings on his part. It's time to go, Corvus. Yes, finally it is. Out of nowhere comes a voice. Fuck. Oh, hey, material. My eyes. Oh. It was you, Hawk. You who saved the world from sorrow. You who are both mortal and celestial. The world owes you its very existence. And now, the duty of the Celestrians, the task that has spanned so many aeons, is finally at an end. Prophecy actually did come true, I'll be damned. Still kind of looks like a penis. The Celestians who rise to the heavens shall watch over the skies for all eternity. But you, Hawk, your fate lies elsewhere. You must remain among the mortals. You must stand guardian over their world. In time, the realm of the Almighty, myself, all will be lost to your perception, but nonetheless, you must go forth. Go forth to your realm. The realm of the mortals.
Nice knowing ya. Thank you, Hawk. Someone had to do it. God knows I was the one competent enough. Sentinels of the starry sky. Hello. Is there anybody there? If you're there, say something. Show yourself. Thus do the voices of the mortal plead, ever hopeful of proof of our existence. For how long now have we watched over their realm? For how long have we Celestrians existed? You know what? I think I'm gonna be just fine. On their own. Oh my god, we- we beat it! We're at three and a half hours of stream. But we beat it. We didn't even get the Sage class, dude. I must have spent forever as a kid. Like, holding off on the final boss fight. Because I remember living with Sage like crazy. But no, the only way you can get it was in basically the last dungeon. It feels like so long ago since we've done stuff with storing away in the, in the Scots. Man, you know, we're also getting close to ending Cyber Sleuth too, probably next stream. I'm going to need to figure out another game to play. Oh, that's good that they're talking. Man's love found zero rocks. Which, by the way, I found out that Stonemason's Quarterly was in her... was on her bookshelf. Well, that guy wasn't forgotten. Marionette! Wait. She took that doll before. So Marionette, there's someone put her there. Where is she? 
She crawled there. Draki Woo. Love show actually meeting the people. Was it his dryness? I don't even remember that guy's name. I was there for such a short period of time. You're doing good, Sodden. Wormwood. Please don't go up and change your name back. It's so hard to pronounce. Wormwood. Like that took a fancy light show to renew their faith. You know, you're kind of an asshole, Gory Noro. But I hate you in my respect in the end. You son of a bitch. Hey, you did it. You saved the goddamn world. The priest saved the world. He cast Solar Flare and beat Satan. No. Is this really goodbye then? But I don't want you to go. Don't go. I love you too, Stella. There ain't much we can do about it, though, is there? Ox mortal now. We belong to two different worlds. What's that got to do with it, you flapping old fat guts? Have you got a heart of bone or something? Looks like there ain't much we can do about her, neither. Don't blame her for taking it so hard, Hawk. She's only a kid. She don't understand yet like we do. It was a fun ride, Sterling. Anyway, looks like this is, this is Tara for now. Look after yourself, sunshine. Be lucky. I wish I had some pants. This is not, f these pant, <laughs> these chainmail greaves are not flattering for my ass. Wait, Hawk, traveling around with you? Has been, has been, you know, quite good. We're still friends, even if you're mortal now. Never forget that you've got friends in uh, high places. Oh, and uh, this is my last chance and everything, so I better tell you my toughest secret of all. I, er, I've. Kept this on the down low for a long time now, but the truth is, I'm... You know, you're, you're half goddess. What I'm hiding for truth is I really want to be a nail art. There it goes. A singular fig?
to be continued. What a ride. That was like 20 streams. Would you like to save the details of your journey so far in the adventuring log? Yeah, buddy. Adventure log saved successfully. I wonder if Patty needs a bouncer for the inn. Wait, before we leave, there's one thing I've planned to do this entire game, but never got the chance to. Gonna have to make like a credit roll talking about what everyone did afterwards. Was it... I think it was like up here? There you are. There's a book called Secret of the Supreme Sage. Hulk picks it up and it suddenly starts talking. Hmm? Oh, it's you. What was that? You have completed my task. Well, better make you a sage then, hmm? Oh, where did I scribble down the instructions? I think it was page 124? Ah, yeah, here we go. Yes, here they are. Here's your instructions how to become a sage. I read, don't ya? You're now versatile enough to venture into the sage vocation. That's such a dick move, putting the enemy in the final dungeon. Oh, and I have some clothes I don't need anymore here somewhere well, as well, if you want them. Alright, then you come back and see me when you level 15 as a sage and I'll hand them over. Hmm? And then we've got one more vocation to go pick up. And then we'll call it because I've been streaming for four hours. I don't know why, but I'm having, like, super long streams lately. I probably could just cast evac, but it's not that far of a walk. Man, I wish Bombax was here to see this. He'd be real proud of me. Let's see, it was in the dance hall, I believe. There you are. Oh, was it to be a luminary? To win the hearts of mortals and monsters alike with one's talent and tenacious appeal. Oh, and to you such a Healing abilities to bring a glow of glamour to the heat of battle. These are the performers we, performances we live for. Hmm. Your face has real star potential. Would I be the right in thinking you hope one day to become a luminary? Sure, why not? Alright then. Let's see if you've got what it takes. If anyone can make you a star, it is moi, the ample Applaudia. But the path of stardom is paved with blood, sweat, and tears. Are you ready to start singing for your supper? First, you'll need to prove you can cause a sensation on the stage of battle by beating 
a Maui minstrel with hot lick. Yeah, sure, I'll give it a shot. I can probably pull like some rock star pyrotechnics. So, you're all re ready to make your debut? Your commitment to the role makes me proud. But it's a doggy dog world out there. You must give it your all or nothing at all. Star is born. And we have not met one of these guys, and I'm pretty sure they're just in the grottos. Alright, let's go to Stornway, rest up, and then... And then call it. That was a good stream. I'm going... I can make a thumbnail for this, and then I'm gonna crash for the night. Hey guys, I'm back. You wouldn't believe the day I had. I achieved maximum paladin status today. I beat up Archangel Gabriel. <laughs> it was it. It was Gabriel, right? That that fell. That's someone. Oh, realistically, he'd probably be more akin to Lucifer. Save the game. That actually wasn't a bad last fight. I feel like everyone did their part really well. Like, Matthias was, had healing unlock. I had tanking unlock. Brenna had damage unlock. And then Donna had the debuff unlock. But with that... We did it. I forgot I put the jade thing there. Oh, anyways. Shit. Thank you for watching if you did. And thank you if you watched at any point, because it has been... quite a journey. You know, there, there's a part of me that thought, like, maybe, okay, I had, like, some nostalgia going on. And just me being a dumb kid. That the game wasn't as fun as I remember. It, don't get me wrong. It's still super grindy. And the Gladiator might be a wee bit unbalanced. That was a good game. It was a Dragon Quest game. Even the bad ones are still pretty good. Oops. We don't, we don't need to be on that screen. Oh, I've had this on loop the whole time. Anyways. We might do one more stream of this. Because there's some unfinished business we have to do. I'm getting my girl Stella back. And I gotta go buy Sterling a drink. There's a fig out there somewhere. We're gonna go find it. But it's late. It's almost 2 o'clock where I'm at. I've been streaming for... 3 hours and 56 minutes. Right about... Now. So, tomorrow, I will be streaming pretty early, because I'm also going to finish Digimon Cyber Sleuth. So, and it, the reason for that is because it is the one year anniversary of since I started streaming. So this is actually, the planets are aligning for me right now <laughs> to beat that game as well. So we'll be doing that. I don't know when I'll stream. 
Because I do have to go to bed at a reasonable time. I don't know how long Cyber Sleuth is going to be. So... I have to also figure out what games to play. I mean, I'll play Hacker's Memory afterwards. The... 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 Separate DLC? Like, the, the DLC, not DLC. I gotta figure out what to play for this. To replace this. Maybe the Pokemon? I don't know. It's just kind of like a whim I did. Maybe I'll stream like 6 or 7 p.m. EST tomorrow. I'll give me like... I'll also give me like 4 hours or so. You know what? I'll do the thumbnail tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know if there's anything else left to say. Other than... I can't believe we actually... beat the final boss today. We went a little extra over, but... A little extra over. I'm tired and I'm rambling. So again, thank you for whoever stopped by to watch at any point... during this game, and it's like around 20 streams but take care everybody it's been fun they can't run they won't be able to run my plates i mean they'll be able to trace the fact that i bought a rental car but <laughs> Ah, who cares? That's fine, it's just the CIA. <laughs> Look, as long as we can get across seas before they find us, we're good. It's gotta get up to the Canadian border. Or yeah, just make it cross country. <laughs> I'd rather go to Mexico, it'd be harder to find us. Yeah. <laughs> What's in Mexico, frog? Mexicans. Exactly. And then we'll head down.